What's up guys, welcome back to Games with Grant. I am playing more Disco Elysium, the second time today in fact. This will be a shorter stream, about an hour. It's all I can really fit in right now, sadly. And right now I'm just trying to get my bearings, trying to remember what the hell I was doing. Huh, let's look at my objectives again. Always good way to start. Alright, find the music for that. Let's keep searching for that. Keep searching for that. Find a way into there. Not doing that. Gotta do that later. Ask around about that. I know actually who to ask about that. Prove my authority. I could try that. Look for them. Gotta do that after 10 a.m. Kind of doing that. Yeah, I've got to wait for the ice cream to melt so I can do that. To do these two. Got a figure for that. And you gotta do that later. Right, so there's a lot of stuff that's kind of on hold that I have to do later on. Now, one of the things I wanted to do was in here, wasn't it? Yes, it was in here. So much hard to keep track of it all. I feel like I'm heading towards the end. At least at the main thrust of the narrative. I've got nothing to say to you. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Nope. Still 3%, very low. How am I meant to get that higher? Establish authority, yes. Authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. First you tell me something's being raped and then you don't say who. That's bullshit. I'm the only thing keeping this town from going to hell and you're not helping. Yeah, these seem a bit childish. Not gonna establish my authority there. Kim, I need your gun. That seems a bit desperate. That's it. That's all I've got. Did you already try the gun thing? I hear the gun thing is excellent and has great results. You're probably right. The others are only there for filler. Ah. To make the gun thing pop. So... Yeah, it's not really giving me a lot of choice here. Why? This is not what he thinks it is. This is a great idea. I'm afraid it's not what you think it is either. What? Who? Me? What is it? Everybody calm down, this is only a demonstration. Kim, the gun, please. What in the name of fuck are you doing? But I don't want to give you my gun, not after the last time. <laughs> yeah, that's probably smart. What the fuck is happening, Titus? What are they whispering about? Easy, Shanks. I want to see where this is going. Trust me, Kim, I am merely flesh. There is no other way. I know what I'm doing. It's not my first day on the police job. Merely what? Be careful. It's loaded. Good. Now put it in your mouth. Right, this isn't where I thought it was going at all, but I want to put it at them. I want to point it at them. Fah. Quit your whining. Everyone knows how to do that. You're a special man. You're going to point it at yourself. Go ahead. Show them. Yeah, this is definitely not what I thought was going to happen or what I wanted to happen. What are you doing? Genuine panic flies across the lieutenant's face. 
<laughs> Fellas, you getting any of this? You will never forget what happens in five seconds if you don't respect me. You better get ready to fucking respect me. Five, I'm not fucking this cave's up. You will respect me. I'm going to kill myself now. You're <laughs> What in the name of mother fuck? Acidic taste on your lips. Corrosive. Once as a child, you put your tongue against the rail. It was winter. That was a long time ago. The fuck is he saying? Some insane shit. Nothing. Give me the gun. You will never forget what happens in five seconds if you don't respect me. Fellas, the cop is really threatening to off himself. This is insane. No, that is not what is happening. This show is unnecessary. Give me my gun, now. He's desperately trying to offer a counter-narrative. There is none. You better get ready to fucking respect me in five, four, He's three... He's not gonna off himself, come on! No. He'll do it. Go ahead, son. Three, two. Kisses, kisses, kisses. No, give it to Lieutenant Kitsuragi. It's not too late. You can still spin this as some kind of tactic. There will be no spinning. Do the honest thing. Pull the trigger. I'm not fucking this case up. You will respect me. We'll solve the case. Look at me. Don't worry. His demonstration is not helping at all. Inside the small mechanism, you can hear a spring tensing up. Yeah, cause I sorta wanna see that shit. You won't, man. His fucking balls ain't big enough. Right. <laughs> I'm now stuck between a rock and a hard place. If this does not go well, I will be loading up my save. Damn. <laughs> Deranged cop kills himself. Citizens in shock as a deranged law official, reportedly from the 41st precinct, shot himself in the head last night in the middle of a crowded cafeteria in downtown Martinez. The exact details of the incident have not been revealed, but first hand witnesses claim that the officer was making a point. Can't say I'm surprised, Lawrence Gart, manager of the Whirling and Rags cafeteria where the incident took place, commented. He was extremely unstable and had threatened to kill himself before. Yeah, let's not do that again. And I will come back to that later on because clearly I can't do that yet. Alright, so I'm going to speak to the guy up here about tattoos. Apparently this is a risky thing as well because this guy is actually a mercenary in disguise. Right to work! Right to work! Shame on you! I think you may be able to help me decipher some tattoos. Don't think so. They were on the body of the man who was hanged behind the cafeteria there. It was on your colonel. We're investigating the murder. These tattoos were on the victim's body. Silence. He takes the photo. Grey eyes dart back and forth on the glossy surface. His face is unmoving. You see dead flesh in colorful rivers of polychrome, melting skin and hair. Fucking loincloths. Really did him in. Um, loincloths? Yeah. Can you tell me what the tattoo means? What it means? I can tell you what this one means. Only one. You want to hear what happened here? Yes. Our colonel is deep in the bush here. Deep in the fucking bush. In Benital. 41. Monsoon season. He's on a reconnaissance mission. 
Bonaito is one of the inhabited islands of the Seminese archipelago near the Pale. Covered in jungle, it was anchor point for the Seminese nationalists in the proxy war held on the islanders' territory. He spent a month behind enemy lines, scouting kipped villages. Nothing but fucking bugs and snakes for fun. Men are getting restless. There's talk of switching employers. With some strange emotion, this is about to get really graphic. Last moment to back off. Don't interrupt him. Our boy. He's only a captain then, but he knows how these men think. If they don't see action soon. At dawn, he comes upon two kids, breeding in the bushes by the river. Or maybe they weren't breeding. Maybe they were just making eyes at each other. I like to think they were breeding. We shot the boy. He was useless, but the girl, she was nice. A little fat, you know, but not too old. She was quite the entertainment for the week she lasted, expired in the hands of Sarge Mason. The kind of guy who'd make Chief there shit his pants and cry like a bitch. God. <laughs> Mason couldn't let go. Cut the tits off her cold body and fucking ate them. <laughs> Said primitive spirits were watching over him now. Drowned in a creek a week later. Spirits my ass. Something stirs in your stomach. You were there? No. I was in the domain. In Jambrock. Being a bouncer. You're not really a scab leader, are you? Fucking mask is getting sweaty. I want to take my mask off. But... He's under orders. And orders are orders. Can I have it back? Go ahead. All right now. Free commerce! Keep the goods flowing! On the photo in your hands, the dead man's skin is studded with stars. Tens, hundreds of them, littering his dead skin. Right, I am going to leave now without asking that question. And I'm going to try something very risky. Once I save the game, that is. So I'm going to save my game just in case. Because I've been told what I'm about to do is risky. Right to work! Are you a mercenary hired by Wild Pines? Free flow of commerce! Is there a tribunal being convened by any chance? Fuck it. I'm going to interpret that as a yes. There's a tribunal, and it won't be long until it's ready. How about you fuck off now, huh? Okay, of course. There could be weapons aiming at us right now, somewhere above, in the buildings. The other Merc. Don't push this, he's thinking. This is not the time. The man's breathing steadiest, but his eyes are still narrow. Slowly, He's trying to get his right-to-work dance back on. Right. So that's one thing sorted. Let's speak to this guy again just to see if he's got anything Looking new. Looking for something on? You could push him by asking him to show you the soles of his boots. Let me see he the soles of your boots. definitely looks like someone capable of a lynching. Me and my eyes are stompers, aren't? For sure, I can demonstrate them. On the bottom of the man's boots, you see an intricate tangle of treads with no immediately discernible pattern. What's up with your soul? It's Revachol. Where did you get boots like that? Custom made. Cost me a pretty penny. But why? You'll see when the time comes, officer. True patriots carry Revachol in their very souls. Technically, you're stomping on Revachol every step you take. <laughs> I know you people don't understand poetry. 
Right, so just wait until 10 o'clock when I can phone that thing up. I don't want to travel too far away from it, because I'll just have to travel back. So, what's this? That's for later on. That's for later on. That's for later on. That's for kind of now, but I guess it's only partly done. I could go there again. But then there's a bunch of stuff that I should probably do beforehand. That's what I'm trying to wait for. I could try and do that. Near the boathouses, west of the field live field fell building. That I've just tried to do earlier, did not go well. Right, so still looking for something about that apparently. That I am waiting on. Not doing that. Need to do that in the background, do that in the background. No, Gary. Right, that's yeah, so I need to go back there. Do that in the background. And do that in the background. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go back over the bridge to the cryptozoologist basically. Look out for these traps on the way. So there's one, but apparently there's another one next to the boathouse. So yeah, just looking for a trap line around somewhere. Not seeing anything. Down there. Where did it say it was again? So the one that he's just set up, I know where that is. Near the boathouses, west of the Feld building. Right. Why the hell's the Feld building? Is this the Feld building? I think it is. There we go. This is the trap Morel just set. Checking nope. it over, he said, is just a technicality. But the reeds by the abandoned campsite hiss and shake. It's good the cryptozoologists left. This isn't a very cozy place to stay night after night. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out. You feel strange, somehow. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. Empty as all of them. One more of these, and we're done. One more time, I must stress that I did not expect the cryptozoological monstrosity to be in this trap. Of course. Noted. Right, so that's not the one that I thought I was coming across. Near the boathouses, west of the fell build. Ah, right here. It takes you a moment, but finally, you spot the last of Morel's traps. This one's partially obscured by the reeds. Behind you, 
the ruins of a residential building rise over the reeds, shielding them from the wind. The reeds rustle confidently. The trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. No locusts. No phasmid either, but still. Your voice echoes on the coast, carried by a gust of cold wind. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap. The netting is a little untidy, messier than the others. Like someone or something picked up the trap and shook it before dropping it back down on the ground. I do get the feeling that someone or something may have messed with the trap. But what if it was just the Phasmid? What if it ate them and got out? Yeah, it probably wasn't the Phasmid, but still, Morel needs to know. You're right, but I still need to tell the cryptozoologist about this. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist, or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. But what... Uh... Right. Anyway, that's for the cryptozoologists to figure out now. We are not cryptozoologists. We are cops. Right, but where the hell's the cryptozoologist got to? I don't think I've been here. A row of ghostly shades facing across. Oh no, the I have. With another seven shades standing, a cold. The sign says entree into deep. An old ticket taker booth no longer in operation. The door is not only barred shut, it is inaccessible. What's that? Fallen people? Uh, I don't have a clue what that is. The small wire framing inside this futuristic looking Fallen pipe or Oh, it's a hat. I do not like that hat. I will not be wearing that hat. No point in being a cop if you can't look cool. Oh, now there's a box over there apparently. Wasn't there before. Come on, show sure you can cross over there. Nope. The last trap was empty. Return to Morel in the whirling with the news. I forgot I can fast travel now, can't I? How do I do that again? I could have swore I could fast travel. Looks like I'm going there the old fashioned way. Walking. By the time I get there, I'll be able to use the radio again to do that objective.
It's a long trek, but hopefully it'll be worth it. inside the whirling and rags before I use the radio because it's too early for that right not going anywhere near them again it's great to see you again officer my wife can't wait to thank you. Go on, talk to her. Oh, sweetie, I don't even know how to thank you for finding my husband and helping him out. I hope we haven't been too much trouble for you. It's just doing my job, ma'am. Here, I want to give you a small token of my gratitude. It's a tie. Mesk in origin. The pin is an antique. Quite special. The little silvery knob holding the tie together feels warm in your hand. It's in the shape of an avian skull with eight eyes. You could ask her about this when you get the time. It's probably a cryptid, but the phasmid, of course, is more important. Ha <laughs> ha! Nothing like the gratitude of a good woman. Now then, what can I do for you? He tries to play it cool, remain professorial, but inside, this man is itching for some news on those traps. So I checked all the traps. Good. Okay. And? And one of them was empty. Completely empty? Yes, there was nothing in the trap. No locusts, no phasmid. No locusts? No phasmid either? That's not ideal. But it just means the Insulindian Phasmid is even more clever than we thought. Of course, more clever. Yes, the Phantasmodea picked off the locust and escaped. This is good news, though we'll have to reconsider the design of the traps, make them more secure. Another trip to the reeds. Where's he came from? Where is he? Yes, that's exactly what it is. What a deft hunter this phasmid. Why don't you try convincing Morel his hypothesis is invalid? I don't know where he is. Where's he speaking from? Thank you for the vote of no confidence, Gary. An officer. I appreciate your concern, but please leave this to the experts. Unless you have an alternative hypothesis you'd like to venture. Actually, no. Excuse me for getting emotional. This is a big deal for us. You've helped us twice now, and brought some great news too. My gratitude, and the gratitude of the Societe Cryptozoologique de Ravachol, is yours. Heartfelt gratitude. But does it feel like closure? What really happened? Some kind of foul play might be afoot. Theft? Thank you, it's an honor. We should probably return to our main investigation here. This has been refreshing, but... Helping cryptozoologists isn't really a priority for our organization, is it? The lieutenant looks out the window, impatiently. Develop an alternate theory about the missing locusts. Consider the way the empty trap was disturbed as though shaken. Most likely the hands of a young person. Hands small enough to fit inside the trap, too. You should ask the red-headed boy, Kuno. I think a little hooligan called Kuno may have stolen the locusts. A little hooligan? But what would a child want with bags? Oh, my dear Morel. You've been an old man for too long. Kids love to torment insects almost as much as they love to torment old folks. I'll talk to the little gremlin and see if anything comes up. 
Delinquents, my favorite. Oh, you've been such a dear to us. Please, let us know whatever you turn up. I have a feeling we're getting so close. Well, I see you've got all the help you need. I'll see you tonight at my place. Let's play suzerainty, but no more field trips for me. This is a slippery one. He may respect the law, but mostly wants to pass under the radar. You won't get a chance to talk after you walk out of here. He hasn't been particularly forthcoming before. He may well still be hiding something. After he's left, it's too late. Really, Gary? We're getting somewhere here. I'd love to play suzerain tea, but... Lena, I'm sorry, but you're not getting anywhere. It was some kids. I know the little mutants around here. Leave anything out in the open and they'll steal it, even if it's bugs. Morel, it's been fun, really, but I need a bath and I have deliveries to handle. When this tea is done, I gotta run. No, no. No need to apologize, Geary. You'd be more than helpful. We'll have to take a rain check on that game of Sue's rain tea today, though. We're gonna follow this through. The first man to break formation is always a blow to leadership. This is bigger than he lets on. Have you noticed anything off about your friend Gary? Uh, no. No, of course not. Why? Are you sure? Well, he's been a little unenthusiastic about the trip. More so than usual. That's understandable. He just wants to get home and warm up. He doesn't want to say it, but this is unusual. Gary's been to the jungle with him, to places way more challenging than the coast. Why so eager to go home? Is this Gary? Always a pleasure yes. to see an officer of the law. You see, the problem is, the picture of his portrait looks nothing like the actual character model. Like, what the hell's going on there? Like, I had no idea that was him. I mean, officers. Once more, you hear that odd clicking sound coming from Gary. Why is he shifting around like that? That shirt looks very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons, barely keeping that thing together, as if something is ready to rip out from underneath. Something worn underneath it? Yes, like a piece of ceramic armor, for example. One that makes a clicking sound when the plates meet each other, resembling pearls or marbles, stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. I see you're a connoisseur of high-quality combat gear. I knew you'd figure it out, officer. I'm sorry I didn't tell you at once. I was... I was ashamed of what I did. And I didn't want you to know. We're not detecting falsehood, sire. He's gearing up to admit the truth. This shame is surprisingly sincere. Gary, what's going on? I took the hanged man's cuirass. I... I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to? I mean, you can't accidentally take someone's armor and strap it to yourself, can you? God damn it, Gary. I know. Shame on you. Give the cuirass to the officer at once. Gary didn't mean to interfere with your investigation officers. He's just... <laughs> Thick-headed and poor as dirt, but he's always helped us, given us a place to stay, and he's followed Morel into God knows what jungles. He's a loyal friend. Why did you really put those clothes in the trash? Everyone was picking those pieces off him, and I was watching them do it. And they'd scattered his clothes all over the yard. Everything was smelling. So I went there to take out the trash and started cleaning up. All those rags on the ground, him swinging up there, and I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought, he's a foreigner. They all say he wasn't from here. Only the caress was left. So I stripped it off him. It was early in the morning. No one saw me. I took it with me. It was a mistake. 
had I known it'd give you guys trouble, I... I wouldn't have... Fuck. We're detecting sincere contrition here, sire. He's not trying to flatter anyone. It's okay. It was a loose end, and you are tiny tad now. I'm so fucking sorry I called you Yellow Man. Sea Alight officers commanded the Suzerain's Navy. Most of them sided with the king when... They were thoroughly conservative men, he realizes suddenly. It's difficult to say what the lieutenant thinks of this historic apology. His face does not belie emotions. Why did you lie to me, Gary? Because I was weak. I should have told you the moment I saw you, but... He's a scaredy cat. Alright. Do you know who killed the hanged man? I always thought it was the Union. Some Union hard asses lynched him because of the strike. But almost everyone in town knows that. I wish I could tell you more. This is all he knows. Give me that armor now. He sighs again, hangs his head, and unbuttons his shirt fully. A cuirass that matches the dead man's boots comes into view. Soon it is in your hands, smelling of his sweat. Are we done here, Gary? Yes, absolutely. I will never do anything like this again. Thank you for your cooperation. Right, so now I've got another piece of the armor. Well, that's a tie, Inland of uh, Volition. That's one of them ties. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah. Pain threshold, volition, empathy. Alright, I'll wear that, why not? Doesn't really go with the tie or the jacket, but it's armor, you know, can't hurt. The missing insects case. Ask Kuno about it, and yeah. The white ceramic cuirass hugs your torso, shielding your vitals without adding much bulk to your form. Your movements cause tiny little clicks, like dice rolling somewhere far away. As the plates reorient to your motions. Decked out in future armor, like a cop ought to be. I will be responsible with this. This is just to protect me from harm, not to show off. The hardened, vitreous enamel, at once sleek and light, adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your step. Just imagine what a full suit of this stuff could do for you. Yeah, I want the full suit. This gear could line my pockets with cash. I could probably sell it to some other cops. This is the long sought after enemy technology. I can't just enjoy it. I must study it. It may be a while before you have all the pieces. In the meantime, you should analyze the armor. Figure out its vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities? Remember, this is a highly specialized kinetic redistributor meant to stop bullets. Wear it. Observe its properties. See if there's a weakness in the design for the day you have to fight someone covered in the same material right right so i gotta unlock a slot before i can use it but i can't do that unless i get rid of one of these do it yet then. No real benefits to that just now. Alright, let's make that call to the library and hopefully wrap up this side case. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio... How may I assist you? Connect to the public library. Hold on, officer. 
I've got Central Jamrock Public Library on the line, and I've already introduced you to their librarian. Connecting the call in two. One. Yes, this is Central Jamrock Public Library here. How can I help you, officer? I'm looking for any information that you can provide on Billy Mayin, a reader. Billy. Billy Majon, you said. Give me a moment. I'll have to check our database. Yes, hello. Are you still there? I found Billy Majon's home address. Is that all right? No phone number, unfortunately. They're too poor to have a phone line. Yes, home address is fine. Here we go, sir. Rue de saint Gislaine, 33B, apartment number 20. It's in Martinez, I believe. Capeside Apartments, it says. That's all. That's where the smoker on the balcony lives, isn't it? Oh. Do you have any other information on Billy Magine? It says here that they returned their last book just a few days ago. But I wasn't at work that day. Do you know someone who was? Marie? Marie? Do you remember a reader named Billy Magine? They returned a Tibalt book the other day. Yes, it, it was my colleague, Marie. Uh, she said that it was Billy's husband who returned the book. He also asked for this new sci-fi release, Lowe's Radio City 87. But we don't have it yet. Good. You have a name now. Right. So Billy Majan is a woman, not a man? How did your colleague know that it was her husband? Marie knows Billy. She's been working here longer than me. Sometimes her husband returns some books for her. Do you know the husband's name? Sorry, no. Marie only knows him by sight. Can Marie describe to me what the husband looked like? Marie! She said it was an older man, and that she's pretty sure he'd had a drink or two the last time she saw him. What was he wearing? Uh... One second. What was he wearing? Sorry, Marie wasn't really paying any attention to that. Thank you, that's all from me. I have no other questions. Happy we could help. Goodbye, officer. This is starting to get interesting. Anything else you need from me? I'm done with the radio for now. In the cabin, you see a... Is it the exact apartment number? Go to Billy Magine's apartment to deliver the bad news. It's in the apartment building in the North Martinet, apartment 20. So, yeah, I don't think it's associated with the balcony guy. I think it's just the same building that balcony guy was in. Fuck, does Kuhn okay? You wouldn't happen to know anything about any missing locusts. No, Kuno doesn't give a fuck about bugs. So he knows locusts are bugs. Oh my god, I told you that shit is lame! Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison! Now hold on, no one is lame here, just tell me what happened. Deny everything, Kuno! You need to lawyer up! Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. Lame. That rings some bells. Could this be connected to Night City? A.K.A. The... City of Rage. Kuno, is this about Rage City? Oh god, Kuno, no! What's gonna happen now? They're gonna make you lame! Stop it, see? No one's gonna make anyone lame. Kuno's got this under control. There's definitely something going on here. You should check out Kuno's shack. The one with the pig's head. Right, give it a go. He's on your crime scene. Bossing you around. And he's been here for some time, too. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Hey, Kuno. Think you can turn the Kuno down for a moment? Let's talk like normal people. Kuno, listen, I know this boundary pushing thing is new to you, but it's old news for us grown ups. Kuno, you must have seen all kinds of things throwing all seen all kinds of things throwing stones, yeah? Wanna help the RCM bust a murderer? No! <laughs> what are you? Fucking mentally handicapped? Kuno! They've almost made you a snitch now! Ease off, see? Kuno always takes the bullet over the hammer. He'd rather die than work with the justice system. Kuno doesn't fucking care! Alright, yeah. 
another great conversation with Kuno. Check out Kuno's shack, which is this place. So, it's crawling with locusts in here. All around you, the hisses and chirps of locusts fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud dotted with little holes for windows. Like skyscrapers, spires of dirt and sand rising. Accommodations for their insectoid inhabitants. Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case of the locusts for the missing locust case which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case so at least that's going well yes precisely what i was thinking yes i feel we are nearing a real breakthrough you think the insulindian fastment is nearby we should talk to kuno about this get him to stop i'll let you handle the kuno side of things you are doing just fine I know you took the locusts from the traps the cryptozoologist set up. Yeah. Kuro took the bugs. So what? So it wasn't the phasmid. A wave of disappointment washes over you. You say you don't give a fuck about the bugs, then you go and build a whole bug town. It's not bug town. It's the city of locusts. Locusts aren't just bug shit. They come out of the sky like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. Locusts coming down like a shadow. This must be the night city he mentioned when you asked him where he's been. So that in there is night city. Yeah, local city, city of rage, city of lights. There's a tug of war over the name of his fantastical city. It's almost too big for his imagination. The girl forces herself to watch again, the corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. City of Rage sounds like a cool place. Kuno, the pig wants to help you! Oh, that's how lame it is! Please just don't say you're an artist! Maybe I am an artist! You hear that, everyone? I'm a fucking artist now! Did he just say I? Kuno usually calls Kuno, Kuno. Hold on, did I hear you right? You said I. That's great, Kuno. It's cool to make art. Oh my god, Kuno! He's gonna make you totally lame in, like, three seconds! Oh, don't let him, Kuno! Yo, fuck you, see? Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's his own man. Kuno's free! Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a f Kuno doesn't give a shit! Oh, don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno! You'll have to take me away! In it, you hear snow melting, dripping from the eaves. Someone closing a window. So that's what this is about. That depends on the choices you make, young girl. Oh, come on, no one is coming to take you away. Without a word, she disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy is lost for words. He turns completely red now with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. Use this momentary confusion to take control of the situation. I have to ask, what does the city of locusts mean? What's going to happen to the locusts? I need you to stop taking locusts from the traps. The cryptozoologists are trying to find something very important. Those locusts are bait. I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. She was right. The girl's face appears again, above the fence, just long enough to make eye contact with Kuno. I have to ask, what does the city of locusts mean? It don't mean anything. It's shit. Kuno just likes to focus. 
Kuno likes to concentrate on shit, build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck. Pig, you really shouldn't have fucked with Kuno City. Now it's all fucking lame. What's going to happen to the locusts? Okay, now that that's settled, I'd better be off. Kuno's going to let the fucking locusts die. The fuck are they trying to catch anyway? With the traps? The Insulindian Phasmid. Huh. He recognises the name. Wait, you know what the Insulindian Phasmid is? Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. The fuck out of here! Kuno's tired of this shit! Kuno has promised to stop. Report your findings to the cryptozoologists. Right. Seem to be doing a lot of back and forth here. Officer. I had a chat I think with this I kid. almost have it. A new trap design, that is. I know you're skeptical, but I have a good feeling about this. I had a chat with this kid, Kuno. He promised to stop stealing the locusts. So it was just a child. Thank you for telling us, sweetie. This is good news, right? It means we can try again. She acts chipper, but something's changed in her tone. A hidden worry. Something is secretly gnawing at her confidence. It's not this Kuno kid, or the missing locusts. It's something else. Yeah, you're right. We just need to restock the empty trap. Then we'll need to inspect the traps one more time. And then maybe we can. <coughs> Darling, I told you to take it easy. You're getting sick. Maybe it's time to go home. You're right, you're right. We can come back next season, when it's warmer. There won't be a next season. Not for this. Find a phasmid or admit defeat, people. Man, I'm really feeling it's costing me time on my main investigation. It's not worth risking your health. You should call it a day and go home. I'd offer to help, but I have my own things to do. Damn it, maybe I can still restock the trap for you. We've come too far to quit. I'm going to restock the trap. Let's do this. We are getting really carried away with this, aren't we? Fine, it's better than having these people get pneumonia on the coast. But after this... He wants to see this tale through, as much as you. Otherwise, he'd have stopped this already. But he cannot let it drag out after this. Really? It's too much, officer. What Morel means is we're grateful for your help. He's a fresh batch of locusts. They should slide right down the funnel. And thank you again. We would definitely mention you, should this lead to a discovery. I'm not talking co-discovery, of course, but... Uh... Wow. Co-discovery? You'd be famous. You'd show them all. This does tingle the pleasure center. This would show them all. We need to get you on that list of discoverers. No question about that. Did you know Gary was hiding the armor? Hell no. I had no idea. And I'm still cross with him, to be honest. It's not like him. He's got his quirks. But dishonesty, disloyalty, are not one of them. I don't know what got into him, officer. Thank you for letting him off easy. He won't forget it. We'll make sure he won't. Alright, so now I've got some locusts. And a new objective to restock the trap. I was kind of hoping I did, wouldn't have to do this. I know I was given the choice, but it's one of the things where I don't want to miss out. So I'll restock the trap because that seems like it's just going to be a real quick thing. Then I will head back to the apartment complex. And yeah, we'll take it from there.
Another long walk across the town. Gotta go up here. just down here. There we go. Morel's trap stands empty, just like the boathouses around it. The reeds chafe against one another while the rain falls. Release the locust into the empty trap. The locusts, dazed from being transported, slowly begin to acclimate to their new surroundings. They're not really going to get the chance to get comfortable here. Good. Now that's done. When do you think we will return to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. He doesn't want to. But if there is one more cryptozoological runaround, he must force the investigation back on track. This better be it. I agree. Right. Let's see. Can I fast travel? How do you fast travel again? There's definitely a way of fast travel, and I just can't remember. Features the patch. Alright, looks like we're going the long way. Almost there. In we go, try to find apartment 20, I believe it was. Right, where's apartment 20? It's next to where Gary lives. But I've just got a feeling. So I'm going to go back this way. Hopefully this will be a short thing and that will be it for today. Right, this, could it be this? A weathered brown door. There we go. The number reads... 20. Something smells good. Soup along, yo. The lieutenant motions to you to go ahead and knock. This is the door. You already know it's the right door. This is going to be so hard. 
Get yourself together. It's just police work. Hold on, Kim. We should discuss this before we move on. What should we expect? You're right. Let's do this true. You hear some light footsteps and what appears to be a daily weather forecast playing on the radio. Well, the weather forecast is easy. It's gonna rain or snow. It seems to be the only thing that happens in this town. We have our first preliminary identification. In all likelihood, the deceased is the husband of Billy Mejean. We need to confirm this, as well as deliver the death notification to Billy herself. Now, delivering a death notification is never an easy task. There's a reason why it's often called the most stressful part of our job. This is why it's usually done in pairs. You got this. I'll be monitoring reactions, ready to act if necessary. Do you have any advice on how to tell her he's... What if I don't want to do this? Kim, I don't want to do this. Let's turn back. Alright, I think I'm ready. Dad, just don't say that you know how they feel. You don't. The lieutenant motions towards the door. Hello, who is it? And someone turns down the radio. Is this Billy Magine's home? This is the police. Please open the door. The police. A moment, please. Give us a moment. Tidy enough. Nervously. For some reason, I'm not getting the voice from this. She unlocks the door. Come in. The door is open. I was expecting them to answer the door, not just to say come in, but alright. Don't run, okay? Take it slow when exploring the apartment. Be respectful. And you know what? I'm gonna end that there. Yes, I know it's a bit annoying that I've ended it on a bit of a cliffhanger, but next time we will deliver the news that the person is dead. And if you've liked this stream, go over to YouTube, Games with Grant on YouTube, to catch all of my video game content there, as well as the full playthrough of Disco Elysium thus far. Why not go over to Twitch as well and give me a follow if you are not watching live, of course. If you are watching live, just give me a follow now, why not? I will be back tomorrow with more Disco Elysium, tomorrow afternoon to be precise. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore Grant Burton. But until next time, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching.